This is one of the songs that I wrote for El Gran Combo, and it goes something like this. Lo que me vayan a dar, que me lo den en vida. No vayan a esperar después de mi partida. Yo no quiero que me pase lo que le pasó a Daniel, al maestro Pedro Flores y al glorioso Rafael. Por eso lo que me vayan a dar, que me lo den en vida. Que me lo den, que me lo den, que me lo den en vida. Que me lo den, que me lo den, que me lo den en vida. Cantante de los cantantes, mi amiguito Héctor la voz. Desde su lecho de enfermo, una vez me preguntó. ¿Qué pasa con mis amigos? ¿Dónde están que ya no vienen? ¿Será que ya me olvidaron? ¿Será que ya no me quieren? Por eso, lo que me vayan a dar, que me lo den en vida. Que me lo den, que me lo den, que me lo den en vida. Que me lo den, que me lo den, que me lo den en vida. Si algún reconocimiento mañana me piensan dar, si creen que me lo merezco, ¿por qué no darme ya? Bendito no esperen que yo me muera para ir al campo santo a decir que bueno era, ama Dios y que era un santo y por eso lo que me vayan a dar, que me lo den en vida. Here with Mike Amadeo, one of my uh, longest associations in the music business. Uh, it's an uh, operation in the Bronx. What's the address on Prospect Avenue? 786 Prospect Avenue. And he's been Bronx. here over 60 years. It was a store, as he told me. The store was established in 1941. And uh, in 1969, I took over and changed the name from Casa Hernandez to Casa Amadeo. And I think the interesting part is that its legacy, both the founder and now the current owner, are two very prolific Puerto Rican composers. So um, you just played a song for us that uh, was gorgeous for okay. El Gran Combo. Yeah. They recorded it? It was recorded and it was a very big hit for them, uh, for yeah. myself. And you've been uh, here, you went through the vinyl era, era now you're into uh, CDs, which is a problem with I it. first went through the 78s. Oh, 70, it was still 78s. So then the 45s. 45s, oh, yeah, LPs, was, and now we're into CDs. But he also has had a, a history with percussion instruments. When that I first correct. met you, I brought yes. along a, a pair of bongos for Casa Alegre. Charlie Palmieri was here. The sales of instruments in the past has been good? It was very good at the time. As you know, mm -hmm. we had uh, the store with uh, which uh, Charlie Palmieri was the one taking care of it. And Caco was always, you know, and there was a young man at the time, Joe Conso. Yeah, Joe Conso. Joe was always there. Every time he went to Casa Alegre, Joe was there. And he worked with Al Santiago for a while there. And a very close friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, today the, the store is in a new location, four years here. It's extremely neatly organized. In the back he has uh, po uh, sketches of artists that somebody you met about four years ago that young kid his name is uh, randy rivera and he started coming in here as a customer he became a very close friend of mine right now he calls me pop i'm, I'm his father now and uh he's the one that uh painted rafael hernandez pedro flore and myself in the middle those there are very, those are very nice paintings that's his painting that's his uh, work and back there those mm -hmm. sketches were done by him. He comes in here, he grabs one of his uh, CDs or uh, LPs, mm -hmm. and just sit, sits back there in about 15, 20 minutes, he'll have a sketch. So, so maybe we'll do you one of these days. Well, that would be great. I would be <laughs> flattered and honored to find myself in a small corner of this place. <laughs> Certainly I have the history of having gotten my start in this neighborhood. We're going to start doing that. Uh, we, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put a lot of that... Uh, work uh, and all the pictures that I have around the store so that when people come in they'll uh, see the old you know the way the, the, the old uh, school 
musicians. Uh, well, it's they were all here, and I took pictures with all of them. So the next picture in the it would be yours and I. Okay, I, I would <laughs> yeah. really be honored. Anyway, Mike Amadeo, it was a pleasure to be here to hear it you was perform my pleasure. and to be a part of the history of salsa just in this location, as well as the history of LP in having gotten its beginnings involved with the uh, Casa Alegre, yourself when you were involved, and through all the years uh, selling uh, LP products. Thanks a lot for your time Gracias. and many years of continued success. Gracias.